Magazine Upcycling for Teens, Mobiles. You will need old magazines, scissors, glue, a sewing needle, thread, tape, and a hook to hang your mobile. Start by looking through some old magazines and find some colors and patterns that you like. You'll need about two or maybe three pages. I really like this graphic of a mother and daughter because of the intense cobalt blue and the contrasting orange. I also really like the patterns. And the opposite page has the same colors, so I can use that too. Start by ripping out the page as close to the spine as you can. Then trim it so that you have a smooth edge. Now cut your paper widthwise in thirds. I did mine in quarters and I think that was a little bit too small. Now, turn your paper over and start making small folds towards the center. When you're almost at the middle, turn your paper around and start folding in the other direction. When the two folds meet, fold the paper in half. Then trim the ends. Then do the same thing with four or five other pieces of paper. On these pages, I found some other colors that would go well with the ones I already have. I also decided to incorporate some other elements I found on that page, like the word gratitude. I'm going to put something nicer on the back that's a little bit more pretty. I'm just going to glue the back and then stick it onto the back of a pattern that I like. The next thing I'm going to do is just use a little glue to stop the rods from unfolding. So I'll just unfold one time on each side, put a little glue there, and then fold it back up. Notice I'm not gluing the two sides completely together just near the fold. Now it's time to thread your needle. Push your needle from below up through the center of the rod. Do the same for the rest of the rods, pushing up through the spine. Pull them apart so that they're evenly spaced, and then comes the tricky part, keeping them in place. Take a piece of tape and cut several very thin strips. What you're going to do is take a tiny piece and put it around the thread underneath the rod where the two edges come together. That'll stop it from slipping down. See how small that is? It has to be small so that it won't be seen. Now I'm going to do my best to wrap it around the thread just under the fold. This might take a couple of tries. Do the same thing for each rod. When you're finished, each of your rods will stay in place. Next, I'll add my word and my little bird just by gluing them to the thread. Next, I'm going to make a ring so I have something to hang it from. I do that by simply taking a piece of paper and folding it over and over. And then I trim it and I get something that looks like this. 
after I glue it and let it dry, it'll look like this. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Notice some of the rods aren't exactly horizontal. If you don't like them leaning that much, just snip off a tiny bit on the heavy side. And this is what it looks like after I trimmed it. Have fun creating and thanks for watching.